Hello and welcome. This is Rufalmonger. My friends, we have some Tekken 8 news for you today. And it's from a, I guess, an unlikely source. It's not a press event or like something for the media or whatever. This is just our old crazy Uncle Harada going crazy on Twitter and just casually dropping some mega bombs about the game. So non-traditional source, I guess is the way you could put it, but hey, news is news and I'll gladly take it, especially because for the most part, this is pretty good news. So let's talk about one of the first things out of the gate here is crossplay is indeed coming to Tekken 8. Responding to a comment on Twitter, just saying, can we get crossplay Harada and Harada states crossplay? Of course. Going on further to state here, with the previous generation of consoles released here, I already proposed crossplay between the two platforms for Tekken 7. However, at the time they were at odds with each other and repeatedly refused. Going on in a different tweet to further elaborate, remember when they announced they were open to crossplay a few years ago, but in reality, they didn't actively support third parties at the time and the hurdles were actually quite high. And if you recall the big news quite some time ago, the real hurdle to crossplay was, well, Sony wanted a cut of the money if he did it. That came to light quite some time ago. Perhaps plans are different these days as crossplay is more and more common. Uh, you know, like, hey, even like Street Fighter VI has full crossplay, right? So either Sony lessened their position from the original stance or everyone's just saying screw it and giving Sony their toll money. Crossplay has always been the future, especially important for fighting games where we can get all the player bases together. So honestly, out of the gate here, this is one of the bigger question marks about Tekken 7, and it's resolved, I guess. Crossplay is a go, and that's truly fantastic. Of course, Harada, not done just yet. We got a couple other key things for you. Now, the question of rollback netcode, speaking of online stuff, was also brought up, and Harada answered it in, well, let's call it typical Harada fashion. Will there be rollback? Already installed it. And it already has what you want. The reason why we don't make big announcements like crossplay is because even if we make big announcements, people like you will always say things like, "Wah, that's normal in this day and age. So shut up and sit the hell down. So at minimum, you can definitely feel this isn't a response filtered through the PR team, right? Definitely straight from the heart. So yes, rollback is confirmed for Tekken 7. Now the thing is, in case you're unaware, this isn't new. Tekken 7 had rollback. And uh, you might recall Tekken 7's netcode is uh, spotty at best uh, because the implementation of rollback was not amazing in Tekken 7. Just because the game has rollback doesn't necessarily mean it's good online. So yes, rollback, but the quality of the rollback remains to be seen. If you are unaware though, however, they have hired Arika, the people who make fighting EX Lair, and among other things, they will be helping along with the netplay experience in Tekken 8. So at bare minimum, while I can't give you any kind of guarantor of quality, I can tell you with Arika at the helm, the netplay experience will certainly be better than Tekken 7 at least. So for whatever reason you were wondering about rollback in Tekken 8, well, here, now you know. Also about perhaps being a little harsh on some of the people asking questions, Harada sort of doubles down. If you double up on questions he's already answered, have your name written in the death note. Harada's a straight shooter, if anything, to say the least. Now talking roster. So roster has definitely been a bit of a question come Tekken 8. Specifically how big, how many characters, what characters will return, new characters, all that kind of stuff. And that will still remain a question going into the future. Although one thing that was brought up here so it was asked, how many characters should we expect at the launch of Tekken 8? And Harada states, I think it's more than Capcom San, meaning more than Street Fighter 6. Character modeling, rigging, costume design, all new assets is hard work. That's why we're trying to increase the number of launches. So for frame of reference, I believe Tekken 6 launched with 41 characters and Tekken 7 launched with 36 characters. In comparison, Street Fighter 6 will be launching with 18 characters. That said, the one thing personally uh, I'm hoping is maybe not too bloated of a launch roster because with Street Fighter VI, is it much less characters? Sure, yes. However, each of those 18 characters is wildly unique and different from each other. No character, with the exception of Ryu and Ken, really plays anything like any other character. Everyone is fully and truly unique. And one of the things I've enjoyed about Tekken 8 is seeing that they're kind of doubling down on the character unique values. 
Someone like Kazuya now has more devil flavored moves than ever. Someone like Asuka, what we're looking at here. Asuka, apparently, going by the trailer, now has stuff like a buff that she can use to enhance her moves. That was never done before. Jin now has part of the Devil Jin repertoire. June is now a fully unique and different character than Asuka as well, even though they use technically the same martial art. You're not going to see any shared animations and definitely not any shared game plan because June's shooting lasers everywhere. So for Tekken 8, I don't think it's difficult to have more than 18 characters necessarily, but I would certainly rather see a smaller roster where everyone is much more unique, where every character is very different from every other character. Versus say, like, I don't play character X because character Y just does the same thing, but better. So roster number remains to be seen, but I just hope they don't add more characters at the cost of making every character less unique. That's a me thing, I guess, but I just really like the direction I'm seeing all the characters going, and I hope they don't compromise on that. So all that said now out of the way, let's talk beta, apparently. So this is kind of just a fleeting tweet here, but... The existence of a beta is effectively confirmed. Harada's talking about how they're doing the closed alpha testing like they had, say, at EVO Japan for tournaments and all that. So please wait for the beta. Now, obviously, I would think, anyways, uh, the existence of any given beta is going to be in the far future. Do not expect anything of the sort anytime soon. That said, just the fact that it's brought up that, you know, Harada is very okay with just saying, yeah, you know, wait for the beta. That's a pretty good sign, right? Uh, they're definitely thinking far in the future with that. If it were to happen, now I'm definitely a later in 2023 thing. Uh, definitely well after the launch of Street Fighter VI, I would say for sure. But if you got your eyes to the future, and if you're looking to forward to Tekken 8, obviously you have to, right? Uh, it is just something nice that it's in mind. It'll happen eventually, just a matter of when. And just to close up here, just a few other side tweets. Asking things like PC specs says not confirmed yet, but if you want to play 4K native, the higher the specs, the better. One thing I can say is if you're in an environment where you have to worry about specs, I recommend playing on a console. And just to put it out there, I want to exactly mirror that statement. <laughs> you know, as someone who has a 3080 in this PC, let me tell you, the 3080 is already feeling old. 3080 cannot pull native 4K with the graphics setting on high and all that on like a modern game. It already struggles. I consider the PS5 much more reliable on that end. And given how the game looks, what we've seen, if you want to do 4K 60 FPS or more on a PC, I suggest probably saving up for that 4090. And just to close out, we got some dunks for you. When presented with a reply featuring the face of Kemia, who's uh, infamous on Twitter, let's put it that way, Harada simply responds, all gaming community Twitter accounts have been blocked. As Kamiya is very famous for busting out the block button. And for other things, uh, whenever, you know, a developer responds, people start bullying around on Twitter. And Harada is basically saying, nah. Person who deleted their tweet because they got dunked on, stating, you know, certain roster inclusions may or may not be stupid. Harada states here, I can understand that there's individual opinions, but individual opinions are merely subjective and are not generalizations. At least you're not the one who gets to decide if it's stupid or not. Just remember Twitter's equal opportunity. You can step up to the plate, but you might get smacked down. So that's the news for now. Uh, very informative when, well, frankly, nothing was expected today. And Harada just dumping lots of knowledge. And that's very well appreciated. That said, though, we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and go out and play some Tekken.